Now this game will feature me, Tom, and Slava. And when, in this game, uh, I'm going to be interviewing Tom and Slava on an area of expertise I'll get from you in a moment. Uh, but these are going to be one expert with two heads. They can only speak one word at a time. So, I need that area of expertise, please. Russian. Not cheese. Russian cheese. <laughs> Fine, you win. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Calder Calder Warmer. <laughs> Tonight, I know you've been waiting. We're finally going to do that segment on Russian cheese. We have Dr. Vladimir in. Dr. Vladimir, how is it that they are putting the holes in the cheese? Oh, that's Swiss. Never mind. Carry on. That is a very good procedure that often goes wrong because we are prone to missing implements <laughs> such as the stick for putting the holes in the cheese <laughs> and making the cheese. <laughs> it already sounds very complicated, I hope you're all very excited. How do you use the stick to make the cheese? Mm -hmm. First, we open a stick. <laughs> <laughs> then, we use it to poke holes into a piece of meat which is alive. <laughs> then we turn the meat into cheese. <laughs> I can see why the vegans are upset. But, but our Russian cheese is very particular from other types of cheese. What is it that makes it so unique? Russian cheese is much Meteor <laughs> I did read that in the pamphlet that you've sent out. Yes, very interesting indeed. When did this fascination with Russian cheese begin for you? When I was very young, I killed many cats. <laughs> then I took my remaining weapons and <laughs> hid them inside a dead goat. <laughs> that became a inspiration <laughs> for meat-based cheese. <laughs> <laughs> To the audience to help me. <laughs> Do the audience have any questions for Dr. Vladimir? Mm -hmm. Is it vegetarian? Is it? <laughs> Is the cheese suitable for vegetarians? No. Good. <laughs> Another question, please, from the audience. What flavors are there? What flavors of cheese do you get from the Russians? <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> Beef. Fish and melon. <laughs> Strawberry, bish, bish. <laughs> Strawberry beef fish and melon flavour. That's two of them. That's wonderful. I need one more question from the audience, please. How heavy is the cheese? How heavy is the cheese? <laughs> Three pounds and forty two. <laughs> Ounces. <laughs> Don't pick him up on it. Better that way. The <coughs> important thing to note is that we have the music accompanying <laughs> our cheese jingle, <laughs> which goes like this. <laughs> Russian cheese is very <coughs> nice. Russian cheese is the meatiest. Russian cheese is wonderful and tasty. 
este y y I'm already getting hungry. I need to know just one final thing. If I was going to host a dinner party where I had, you know, cheese and crackers, what type of cracker would be the best type of cracker for that insurance? The only cracker that is worth our time is known as the Ritz Cracker. <laughs> Russia. Oh, yes. The Ritz Cracker of Russia. <laughs> You can only get that online. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Vladimir. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the world's expert. Thank you.